Hello beautiful guys and girls, we are here with another video In today's video, we will talk about how to remove negative energy from your system Okay, we'll dive deep into uh, actually the, the most important stuff in your life, okay? Because everything is energy And uh, if you are in low vibrational energy, oh my god, your whole life is gonna be darkness Okay, so as the great Nikola Tesla said, if you wanna find the secrets of the universe, you have to think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. This is the truth. Everything is energy. Everything is vibrating. Okay, and uh, negative energy is all around us. It's always present <laughs> in this density. We came down to density, guys, in this human experience, and uh, there is a rule about this human experience. Low vibrational energy comes by default and revolves around matter. It's everywhere around matter in this density environment. High vibrational energy, on the other hand, has to be summoned and revolves around the idea of presence, of your soul, of your soul consciousness. If you become a better observer of this uh, human experience, you realize that along your journey, that if uh, you don't put your attention into the energy field, inside into the, into the energy and you have your attention into matter you become materialistic you know and you experience life through this uh, state of consciousness oh my god oh my god suffering challenges uh pain struggle sweat blood and tears oh my god this used to be my whole entire life now f this f this so this is the rule of this reality so the only way out to get rid of this negative energy is within you you are the key you always were the key the power has been with you all along all you have to do is to discover it you know the truth of the matter is that we taught they taught us fear since the moment of our birth okay if you observe the children's the children when you go out for a walk or something they are pure life they are they are the life itself okay it's pure life until until they teach us fear until they program us to be unworthy broken not enough fear has been taught to us and fear is negative energy and they program us into fear, you know, especially nowadays, oh my god, I, I, I can't believe what, what is going on on the planet at this moment. You know, no, nowadays, because the world is running so fast and uh, each human being is, put, is being put on a treadmill and runs, 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 both parents are running in their jobs, in their day-to-day -day life, and who grows up the children? TV, TikTok. Instagram, Facebook, internet, oh my god, oh my god, bombardment of fear everywhere, separation everywhere, Mis misinformation everywhere, oh my god, of course, um, the main problem is within us, okay, in our subconscious beliefs, in the first seven to nine years, we got all the, belie all the beliefs of our caretakers, Okay, and that means we carry a huge part inside us that is filled with negative energy. Okay, that we have to accept, we have to accept this part, we have to embrace it. Okay, we have to embrace it. We have to embrace this part. This is part of us and we need to, to sign in a lot of our awareness in there, into, your, uh, into our unconscious mind. We need to observe the unobserved mind and learn through meditation, through techniques that we are going to say below how to, you know, how to transmute this negative energy. Okay, so what is negative energy? Negative energy is a, a, an energy, a frequency that vibrates really low. Okay, and uh, of course it doesn't resonate with our true essence, which is unconditional love. It doesn't resonate. 
So, for, for one reason or another, we are born in, into this prison planet. And since we have the subconscious beliefs, which I call the matrix, a system of limited beliefs based on fear, uh, of, of, of course, uh, since we have it in there, we are going to experience it out there. Okay, because the world out there is nothing more than a reflection of our inner condition. Okay, and uh, what we have to do is we have to make peace with that negative energy. We have to accept it. It's part of this world. Okay, we have to accept that this human experience is full of challenges and uh, it's part of our lives has its own patterns of challenges. The moment we do that, the moment we stop victimize ourselves and we accept challenges, you know, we stop resisting them with our minds, we stop creating extra suffering with our minds. And th this, this way is a huge key to transmute this negative energy. Because the majority of the times, it's not the situation, it's our perception about the situation. Okay, that is a problem. Of course, because we have a lot of beliefs in here, a lot of BS, BS, not only beliefs, BS, that we need to take care of and remove. Okay, and um, yeah, acceptance, acceptance. It's the first step to change. You know, the more negative energy we carry inside us, the more miserable, the more depressed, the more in, in disease we're gonna be, okay? We need to take care ASAP, ASAP, to, to embrace, to unite this part of us, okay? You know, th there are some easy things that in, in some way they give you some, some space to breathe, out of all this uh, negativity. Some easy steps, okay. N number one, number one. Be mindful, be conscious where you pay your attention. Wherever you're paying attention, you give your vital life force, your energy. So, unfollow everybody from Facebook that he or she is a distraction. Don't tap in and read articles that are fear-based, that, that, are, that are spreading separation and negativity and fear because then it gets here and then you create it out there. Okay, it's a never-ending prison. You know, be more mindful. Stop comparison. We are different. We are that unique. Okay, you can't compare, you can only, you only observe with complete detachment and learn through this observation, so you, you, we can evolve. So, be mindful of what you're consuming with all your senses. If you show me your plate, if you eat death, you're gonna experience disease and negativity inside you, okay? That's a fact. That's fact. Of course, the next step you have to do is to be fully hydrated, okay, to eat your veggies, to eat uh, high quality food. Uh, you can, um, the, the, the most easy thing to do is to go for a cardio workout in nature, walking, jogging, car running, uh, cycling, I love to do cycling and walking in nature, oh my god. You know, cycling, meditating at the same time. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! So, do that. Nature is cleansing. It's gonna remove all this negative energy. You know, you need some peace, a peaceful background environment. Okay, those are easy things to do. Easy things. A good bath. Take a good bath. Light up the candles. Oh my god! Do some breath work. You know, those are easy things. Surround yourself with people that inspire you, that they are high vibing, that their heart is free, that their minds are free, evolved. 
they translated this dimension. Surround yourself with those people. There, there's so much, so much wisdom there. And of course, the, the most important thing, guys, we've been taught in this matrix since the moment of our birth that everything dark is bad and everything light is good. When we have this belief, the dark that we see out there is a reflection of, our, of the darkness that is inside us. It's a form of escapism, guys. It's a form of escape. If we are afraid of the dark out there, you'll never take care of the dark inside you. It's super important to not be afraid. Learn from the negativity. Learn. Don't be afraid of it. I know it feels like uh, shit when you experience negativity, but stay and learn. Observe. Become a, a, a passive observer. Okay, and try to understand what is going on right there. And of course, on the other side of the coin, if you think that everything light is good, and you are oh, only positive vibes, oh, 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 oh. you have a whole subconscious programming since the moment of your birth, since the moment of your childhood, that is full of fear. And if you focus on positive, 95% of your entire subconscious programming is a, a waterfall working against you. Nothing is going to change in your life. Okay, so you have to change your perception and accept your darkness. Dive deep inside. Dive deep in there. Change everything. Accept and break. Sign in the light of awareness. And of course, focus on the positivity. But don't neglect. Don't neglect your shadow side. Your shadow side is all those things that are inside you that you don't even know they are there. So. You have to use different practices, meditations, to become familiar with uh, your unconscious, with your shadow side. Okay, so acceptance, negativity is everywhere around us. Okay, give, give permission to yourself to become a passive observer. Don't tap into there, you, you, it's inevitable because it's inside you, because darkness is, is, is inside you, the, maybe the, the trigger one way or another, someone that is triggering you, is going to come to your reality. The problem is that you have to realize that you are not a victim of this situation. You created it through your thoughts and through your emotions, and that is the truth. So it's you that you are getting triggered, a belief inside your mind. Okay, take responsibility for your thoughts and your emotions. Point the finger in here. It's not the government, it's not the, the, the relationships. It's this, it's this. I create my thoughts, I create my emotions. What can I do? to change my subconscious programming, to raise my frequency, to change my whole entire life, because until you raise your frequency, I'm telling you firsthand, <laughs> your life will never change. Okay. H how do you change now? It's, uh, it's a formula. It's a formula. Uh, Dr. John Dispenza teaches uh, th this formula in his book, uh, Becoming Supernatural, okay? You have to uh, use your creative imagination through your third eye. So your third eye chakra must be working together with your heart chakra that creates the emotions. And of course, you know, you must visualize, you must have a vision of your future. Whatever you are imagining exists. It's true. It's your reality. Okay, it's real. It's happening right now. Past, present, and future are happening at the same time at the eternal now, and it's all connected. It's all energy. Change your frequency. Change your whole entire reality. It's the universe understands your frequency. Nothing else. Your thoughts and your emotions have a frequency, and the universe understands energy. Okay, so have that vision and then emotionally embrace, mind rehearse that into your brain. That's the hard part. The first hard part is to 
see the vision to create with your creative imagination, but you need a coherent heart and a coherent brain. So you can have a signal up there in uh, the quantum field. And uh, the next thing is to, of course, you have to get in the present moment to become no one, nothing, no time, to become timeless through meditations, through breathwork, through different practices. You have to learn how to get in the present moment. And then you have to uh, see that vision, create that vision inside. You have, it's equal to your creative imagination and then emotionally embrace it. Emotionally embrace it. That's the hard part, to feel the emotion ahead of the experience. This, you know, this is what you need to change yourself. Science already proved it. Dr. Joe already proved that with um, facts. You can read the books, you can uh, research. Uh, that's how you change negativity to positivity. And then what you have to do is um, to do that again and again. Your, you know, your old programming is gonna come up every time that you feel, for example, uh, unworthy or unloved. Live in that future vision where you are loved, where you are loved, where you, when, where you are pure love, and create that emotion from within. How does it feel there? That future is happening now. Your past is not something that uh, happened uh, 10 years ago. It's happening in this moment. And you can use it as a tool to expand your awareness and your consciousness. How? It's easy. If you watch the, the movie Interstellar, at the end of the movie when uh, Cooper is on the Tesseract, he, he was observing all the timelines, all the memories, he had, but he was a, a detached observer. And that's how you view your memories. Okay, you observe like you're watching a movie, like, uh, you know, you're outside of the memory. You observe, you get the lesson, gratitude, thank you. And now that you are a different level of consciousness, you can see the lesson, you can change. You can change with gratitude and forgiveness by seeing the lesson in that experience back in the days that you were unconscious you can change the situation that deepened your being back then and the moment you do that with gratitude for forgiveness and by seeing the lesson expanding your consciousness and your awareness you give birth to a future version of yourself that exists in the present moment. Nothing is fixed, guys. Everything is vibrating. <laughs> of course, that that's the key, but uh, it, it's not something that you, you need to. It's not something that you do. You, you sit down one day and you might, you need to work on it. Okay, there is a lot. You need to. There's a process. You need to understand a lot of things. You need to get the information. Then you need to apply that information. In the beginning, it's hard. But that's how you get negative energy out of the system. You have to change the emotional body. Emotions are the language of the body. Thoughts are the language of the mind. And uh, if you're gonna remove negative energy from your system, you have to change the emotional programming. The, the, the body is the unconscious. And since the moment of our birth, it is programmed on fear. So that's the hard part. It's a formula. You can do it. Read the book, become a supernatural. Search for information on my channel. Read my site. I have everything you need to do that. I'm doing that. My whole life is changing, okay? And uh, accept where you are at this moment. If uh, be thankful, gratitude. Oh my God. Gratitude. gratitude is the greatest hug of the matrix. Gratitude is and forgiveness, of course, it's uh, the two ways we raise our frequency. Forgiveness comes naturally when you are a high vibrational being. It comes naturally. You don't need to uh, I forgive. It. it comes naturally. When you forgive, you set yourself free from the negativity, from the attachment. You remove the attachment. It's not something that, you know, 
you should be forced to doing. So it's actually a must. You should do it naturally, and you do it naturally later when your vibe is higher. So this is the video for today. A video about negative energy, how to remove negativity, uh, some basic tips. Uh, of course, I want to point out here in the last uh, part of the video that um, if you are running from negativity, if you don't go deep inside your unconscious and change your subconscious programming, change the emotional state of your body, no matter what you do, even if you set boundaries, even if you go to nature every day, even if you do that, even if you do this, you will keep recre recreating negativity through your mind, okay? So until you do deep inner work, shadow work and inner child work, things won't change, okay? So it's good to run from negativity so you can take some breath, so you can do some inner work, to create your boundaries, to avoid, to avoid negative people and stuff like that. But you have to do the inner work. Okay, because if you don't do it, it's the law of attraction. You're gonna recreate it. Uh, other people, other situations, same demon. Okay, so this is the video for, for today. If you like the message, share the video, subscribe to the channel, support the channel. And until next time, peace and glory.